everybody, welcome to another episode of Smell Engine Velocity, and this is Caesar with my 2011 Water Ruckus slash Honda Ruckus. Today's project is fairly simple, at least what I think is simple. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and replace these front shocks with these. And I have a drum kit adapter also. I also have the disc brake conversion, uh, but that's going to be a whole nother video. Um, reason being is because I don't have a front tire yet that I want to replace it with yet. Uh, and then I need all sort and then a hub to do that also. Uh, but for now, for the sake of making more videos, I'm going to go ahead and put this on, put it with a drum brake adapter, and we're going to go ahead and see what this looks like um, with the new suspension in the front. Now, I haven't done a whole lot of research, uh, but I'm pretty sure that this one goes on this side. And it is lower. Uh, I'm wondering if I can still retain this, but we'll see. Oh, is it? Yeah, this way. Sorry. This has a sleeve on, or is it just thicker? I don't know. I might not be able to keep that. I, maybe that's the reason why you don't see a lot of them in the front. And then this one goes on the other side. And then there's an adapter that goes so you can continue to use the drum brake. I mean, it seems fairly straightforward. You know, take these off uh, to loosen this so that this can come out. Uh, same with the other side. Probably want to take some of these brackets and stuff off. But of course, take the front wheel off first. So, you know. Uh, all right, well, let's see how well we can do this. Um, like I said, I didn't really do a lot of background. All right, I thought it would be fairly straightforward as to how to do this. Um, you know, so I went ahead and uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. I don't have a lot of daylight, so this may end up burning into two different days. But let's go ahead and try to take it apart now. At least get the front tire off and uh, kind of see what we're dealing with as far as all, all this stuff goes. Anyways, here we go. In case you're wondering, the bolt side is 17 and the, or the nut side is 17 and the bolt side is 12. And they both spin, so I had to use a creative one arm solution where I would put my foot on the other side and stepped on this side to get it to come off. But it did a good job. So uh, we're moving on. Let's tap it out. All right, next we're gonna to try to take the, uh, the shocks or the suspension out. Really? I really, did I really just break a, a socket? Oh, my only 12, my only 12. Okay, so we got the shocks off and they're the horrifyingly dirty. <laughs> I mean, I guess they're not bad, and I know that you can mod these to be lower, but uh, 
I'm gonna go ahead and see what all this stuff looks like underneath here. Like, can I take this off? Oh, there's two screws. Will all this stuff still fit? Because remember, when we, we fitted this, it's about a, an inch, almost two inch drop in the front. So we'll see how that looks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take this. Uh, well, I wanna keep this, so I'm gonna go ahead and see if this will still fit with the wheel on. So give me a second. <laughs> Well, so far, here's our progress. Uh, from what I can tell, I can't use this anymore because it would rub the crap out of it. Because um, the tire did not have two inches, did not have two inches of clearance when this was here. So I guess I lost it, but now I realize I need to paint this stuff. So I guess, you know, one project begets another project. But anyways, yeah, here it is. Uh, now I just gotta wait for the drum brake adapter. That should be in the mail. It's supposed to come in today, so if you see me in this same situation with the same light, then that means I just got it. Otherwise, uh, you'll see me in the morning. So, let's find out right now. So the answer is yes. <laughs> I, I literally only stopped the film about, uh, stopped recording like four minutes ago and went to the mailbox and it was there already. But here's the drum brake. Kit adapter, and it's not like a complex piece. I mean, it's relatively simple, and it just adapts the drum brake to uh, this new suspension. Now, of course, it doesn't come with a lick of instructions, but I guess uh, I guess I should be smart enough to figure it out, right? I mean, here's a, there's a new, whatever that's, uh, spacer, and these two shims, I believe, go in here. Oh, wait, one's longer than the other. So there's your shims. Right? So these fit perfectly in, oop. The shims fit in here so that this fits right in here and fits through. Yeah, see, that's what the shims are for. Okay, now just take it all back apart again and. gonna take some figuring out so uh, I don't know if you can see it, but in the adapter, there's a little spline that hits, and so it can hold the disc steady. Um, it goes in, it's there, I just gotta tighten it up now, and then uh, when I tighten it, it'll pull the forks together and, and uh, hold that disc brake in place. Um, 
still kind of wondering about this other stuff, but everything's centered. Everything seems the way it's supposed to be. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and and and, and finish this, okay? Okay, it's time to take it off the stands. Let's clean up a little bit of our mess first. Pick up all our wrenches. At least move them off to the side for now. And all of our sockets. And my socket bucket. Wrenches, hammers, old stuff. Oh no, I stepped on the Loctite and it squeezed everywhere. Oh well. Okay, so we went ahead and took off, took it off the stands. Didn't use my left hand as much as I probably could have, but uh, here is what she looks like lowered. To me, it's a drastic change. If you look, the the tank is now again leaning forward when it used to be level when I lowered the rear. So now the front is lower than the back again. And if you look, this is way closer than it was before. So yay for that. And then when you sit on it, it for sure is lower than it was before. And I don't see any turning issues. But there you have it, the front suspension changed. Two new forks, remove the, uh, the fender, the splash guard, use the drum brake adapter, which fits perfect in here. Um, it was a 17 millimeter here and a 12 on the other side. These were 12s, 12s. There's a 12 underneath here that was holding these together. And then uh, I used the sleeves that go in here because you're using the stock peg uh, the stock uh, axle um, but I did use the stock spacer on the side that doesn't have the disc brake because the other one was too narrow um, and it was whenever I was tightening it it was it looked like it was bending the forks in um, so I'm happy with this look it looks good now all I need to do is finish the uh, the stretch and lower the 12 inch stretch in the back with the fatty tire uh, and then we're good to go as far as looks all I need is a new front wheel And then I can go ahead and do the discs now this bike will significantly lower when I re replace this front tire with a different front tire um, I'm not even sure if I want to go full disc just yet uh, Maybe save that as a summer project, but anyways, I like it. Well, tell me what you think go ahead and leave me a comment below Tell me if I did something wrong or if I could have done something easier or if you're just plain mad at me for using my arm to go ahead and do all this stuff because you want to see me do moto vlogs again and you're angry that this may make it make it take longer. Anyways, uh, if you got any cool stories about suspensions that you've changed on your Ruckus, please let me know. And I will see you next time. Thank you.